Hey guys, Jen coming here. As you can see, my cat stole my chair. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I had originally planned. Um, so I'm going to do this on a pre-recorded um, because it's just complicated and other things are going on. But I just wanted to share with you um, there um, there was a essential oils and skincare event that I was supposed to go to um, two weeks ago. And at that time, my grandparents were having a really hard time breathing, and I had to take them to uh, Mac Center. And that's when I found out they had pneumonia. So I was not able to make the event that night. So my upline so graciously decided to, um, I paid 30 bucks for it because we were basically making making takes. It was a making take. So we had to um, pay for the uh, rollers and the spritzers and everything that we were making. Or compliment, I'm uh, not compliment, um, supplement the hostess for her time and money uh, buying the products um, and things like that. It was awesome. I was excited. So, so graciously, I thought I was going to end up losing out on that. And I mean, like, okay, whatever shit happens. You win some, you lose some. There's always another Young Living event. There's always making takes. There's always classes. There's always online ones, too. I love to go to making takes because it makes me more aware of how oils are used and how versatile they can be used for different things. This one was about, uh, it was a adjunct, I'd say, to a free class that we had a month earlier about um, specific carrier oils and how they're good and what they're good for. <laughs> what are you going to do, Shadow? Oh, stretching. Um, so... Oh, I might get my chair back. Can I can I sit in my chair? What? Yes, I can sit in my chair. <laughs> okay. So, I have to re reset myself. Um, at my bag here. She so graciously ended up actually making my my upline Amanda, who actually invited us to the, the class in the first place. Um, so. What's really cool is I haven't even gotten into it because I've been so busy with dealing with my grandparents' health and everything. So, I'm going to go... Sorry about my cat's tail. She's being spunky because she's annoyed that I'm taking the chair. I've had to spend time between downstairs animals and upstairs animals because the downstairs animal, the cat, my orange cat won't let my black cat go anywhere downstairs. It's a thing, so... Without anybody else being here, and I'm the only one in that big house, it kind of gets complicated. So anyway, I digress. Um, so she, Amanda, graciously made my own roll-ons. Uh, she texted me, and she's like, hey, girl, are you going to make it? And I said, no, I'm having issues. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. She goes, would you like me to make you your the ones for you? I said, oh, my God, that'd be awesome. That's awesome. You know, and that's another reason why I love Young Living, because of the support that we have and how that people go out of their way. They don't just plop you in here and be like, okay, I'm making money off you or some crap like that. No, they really actually care. They care about your well-being and they care about your business. And if you're supporting yourself and if you're having a hard time, they make time to meet with you and try to figure out other avenues and other um, things you can think about to try to get um, your business going and what's causing um, you to, uh, I'd like to say level out, but that you guys wouldn't understand level out. Um, stall I guess because um, there's always seasons to everything and there's seasons to businesses and things and quarters and things like that um, but they're like so helpful and they give you like okay well maybe if we sit down and we think at it from a different angle and see what's going on um, and you know it also changes with the political you know environment the financial environment of your people of all your friends and things so it's just really it really my God, it really just depends on everything like that so anyway, so she made mine, and I'm so grateful because I was looking forward to this class because one of them was for blemishes on the face, and I'm like, yes. And I don't really do coconut oil because it's not really my thing. I don't, I don't really like it. Um, I know it was supposed to be good for your skin or whatever. Now I hear um, alternating information now saying that it might actually be bad for you if you have too much. All different things. So um, in the first class we went to, she said... I don't even know if I have it here. Yes, I do. Uh, just one moment. She actually had this company that she went through 
um, for her uh, carrier oils, or some of them, not all of them, but some of them, the ones she likes. Um, and one of the ones had a free uh, oil that you can get if you um, just wrote into them and paid shipping and tax, which was like $1.50 or $2.50 or something. So I did that. And I got a free um, 30 milliliter bottle of Jehova oil. Now this one specifically was really overall, all the ones she mentioned were really awesome. Um, I don't have the sheet offhand, but it was a big long sheet of like anywhere between Jehova oil, um, hemp seed oil, um, carnelia oil, um, I think it's carnelia. Okay. I can't remember right now because there's been too much stress going on. Um, coconut we mentioned. Argon oil, grapeseed oil, a lot of your like base oils that um, you would do. And she, we, she went through and she said every, all the other specific ones and things like that. Um, so Jehovah oil was one of the ones for really sensitive skin people. Um, so it puts the moisture back in your skin when you have dry skin or something and, and it evens out. And there was a whole science behind it. She's a nurse. She knew about skin and the derma, dermis, you know, basically the skin, and like all these different things because she's a nurse, so she knows all about that and she was trained. And she was also trained in Eastern uh, medicine too because the one side of her family was all raised Eastern medicine-wise and the other was Western medicine. So it was a nice blend of both, which is awesome. And I'm very, very cool that I was able to sit in and learn from her. Um, so, um, hold on a minute. God bless me. I just rearranged my room a little bit because my grandparents are going to be coming home and I need to get my stuff up here because we're going to have more people coming in so I want to make sure my food and everything is up here and accounted for so it's easier and less stressful for me. So the dust flying around and the heat's on because it's colder and the heater is right over there so I closed it so I'm like whoo but excuse me for that. Anyways um then you get the free one and then on here there's a little 30% off coupon if you want to buy any of the other ones off the website which I actually might end up doing um, because this is a really good company um, and it's cold pressed, unrefined, no additives, no chemicals, just along the same lines as Young Living does. Um, so you don't really, you can't really find a lot of those companies, those legit companies out there. Um, you always have the ones that say 100% pure and organic, which this one says, but you can never really tell if they really are because there's no regulations on any of this. Um, and this is Levin Rose. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it says Levin Rose. So it's L-E-V-E-N, Levin, and then Rose um, is the company. So, um, and then she uh, was getting like little pinch pots, they call them, where you can put like... Um, dried uh herbs and mince them up in there and then like put the oil with them and mix them up and make a tincture or whatever so she had a lot of those she got uh, kind of off amazon they were so cute they were uh, terracotta and that was really really cool and they were glazed and everything she uses those for she said we could use those also for like dripping some of this stuff on and then rubbing around because once it's out of the bottle like in the air it changes the consistency of it it starts to um degrade it and these oils will actually go bad. They do have a um, way that you can tell that they're old, which means they start smelling bad. They start smelling rancid. Um, so that was another interesting fact, because I never thought oils went bad, but apparently they do. Um, makes sense. I mean, they're a natural plant. They're pressed out of natural things. Natural things end up dying. They're not living forever. We have seasons for those, too. So, I mean, it, it's logic. This is a lot of logic. But anyways, I digress. After all that, let's get to the thing. All right, so... This is my little paper that she gave me. These were all the different ones that we could do. Um, the first one was the unble um, unblemished roll-on, which um, I you could choose two of them, and I chose unblemished and glow. And then there was a moisturized and a tone-up. Um, I didn't. They didn't prefer preference what they were for or anything. They just said, "Oh, choose two of them. Whatever you know goes." When you're there. They, she would have probably talked about it. I missed all that, so I, unfortunately I didn't get that. But, like, this one, you can see that it's got, like, manuka oil. 
or Manuka essential oil, which is from Young Living. Um, all these oils that we put in there are from Young Living because we're top grade and that's what we prefer because if you want to put it on your face, you want to know you're getting the good stuff. You don't want to be putting on cheapy stuff because it's like going to a, a hotel. I mean, if you pay for the one star price, you're not going to get a five star hotel. That's just, it's just logic. It's not going to happen that way. You pay for a five star hotel, you better get your five star hotel, right? So this is, and, and they come through. Young Living comes through and this company comes through too. So anyway, so there's Manuka and then there's Frankincense. Now Frankincense, which is good too, because actually the last three or four days I've been using Frankincense like nobody's business. Um, with this, all this crap that's going on with the stress that's bringing up all this energy crap that I have to release. Um, because I haven't cleared it out, but that's for my spiritual thing. But Frankincense is really good for clearing out and, and rearranging and healing your insides and everything basically. Google frankincense and what it's used for. Um, per FDA regulations, I can't explain it, blah, 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 because I'm with Young Living and they kind of muzzle you on what you can say. There are documents out there that it does help certain things. Um, so go Google it. You'll, you'll be surprised. <laughs> um, and then there's hemp oil. Oh, okay, so that one's got the hemp oil in it. That's fun. Um, so that's really cool, too. Um, and that goes into the CBD because all your CBD properties, I learned also, are from the main hemp plant. So the hemp oil is basically what constitutes your different CBD aspects in your CBD products. And Young Living's also got a brand of CBD products too, which I've been trying to save up for to get the CBD oil for them because it's a really good company. They do the same testing Young Living does. Young Living partnered with them because they were one of the best, the best out there. They don't cut corners. They don't do anything. They take their product extremely serious. So of course it's going to equal the price. That's why it's expensive because if you want the best, you're going to pay, you know, you got to pay for the best because they don't cut corners. So, I mean, if you're, if you're out doing your own weeding and you're doing your own growing of your things, you're not going to be selling your products at the market to somebody for two dollars when you spent fifteen dollars just getting everything weeded and corrected and cultivated and everything you need to make a profit too right and you want this i mean it, it degrades your product if you're selling it for below grade then i mean you're like it's not right i mean there's also an energy exchange there too but anyway so i've been setting aside money to be able to save up for this because i know cbd oil will help me hardcore and I know I have to put my health first. So I have to penny pinch other places and not like go out to eat or not buy crystals, which is really hard for me. I love my crystals. It's so, so painful. But I know my health is better because if I'm healthy in the future, I can buy more crystals that will supplement my crystal addiction. <laughs> so anyways, it's all where your priorities lie. So if you want to really be better, you put your money where your health is. If you don't, and you're, that means that you just you're not as serious about it as, as you think you are. Um, and I fall prey to that too. I haven't done it for a long time. So I get you too. I'm not judging. I understand life sucks and things get serious sometimes and we have to penny pinch, especially now with all this stuff going around. But anyways, that's for another thing. So I did that one. Um, and then there was moisturizing tincture. I'm reading this backwards. Woo um, which is uh, lavender and frankincense, uh, Jehovah oil, which is this one right here. Um, and argon oil. Um, so that's, uh, in a tincture, which is kind of like a bottle like this. They would do a tincture like a bottle like that, I think. Um, and then you just kind of drop it on your skin, like put a little couple droplets, drops on your skin. Um, and then the next one's glow. This is the other one I got. Now this was originally a roll on as well, but apparently they changed it to a tincture. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they miscounted how many rollers they had available or they just couldn't get any because they usually get them off of Amazon, um, Amazon Smile. Because when you do Smile, you donate to your favorite um, charity or whatever and they donate it to them. Um, so this one is uh, castor oil. That's what it was. It was castor oil. Um, now it's funny because I used to have castor oil when I was a kid for my stomach issues. Mom used to give it to us for stomach issues. And it tasted like crap, but after a while, you usually got used to it. Um, the one she does is not a clear one like we had here when we were kids. Hers was from this company, but it was um, Jamaican black castor oil. 
Um, so I'm not exactly how they make it and what they make it from. She did mention it, but I forgot now. Um, so it was interesting to see a different thing because I always thought it was clear, um, which was interesting. Um, so anyways, um, then they got Yang Lang, really good for stress relief, really good for calming, beautifying the skin. You can also Google that. The ancient Egyptians used it for their beauty um, issues. Well, not issues, for the beauty um, regimens in the morning and things like that. Awesome. Um, and then there's Citrus Fresh. That's one that you, it's a citrus oil. It's a combo of a bunch of citrus oil, lemon, tangerine, orange, and a bunch of others. Um, and that one really, like, brings you out. That one, though, I'd be a little bit careful about because citrus oils are photosensitive. So you want to make sure that you're not putting them on open skin in direct sunlight because your your skin will get red because it's going to be thinking it's a flower or still a plant or whatever it's still going to be photosynthesizing your skin um so be careful with that one in those cases we say put it where the sun don't shine if you know what i mean aka put it like under on your shoulder where your shirt's not there if you have a tank top then not that way um on your stomach you know things like that on the back of your neck if your hair's longer um behind your ear maybe um just you know or on the bottom of your feet the bottom of your feet are the best place for your uh you to retain the properties of the oil and the benefits of the oil even without getting it into the sun but if you're on the beach and you have sandals that's not exactly going to work as well but your skin on your feet is thicker and more robust so it doesn't cause as much of an issue if that was the case but anyways um I can go into that even more and all this stuff, but that's not what this is about. So next, um, the tone up one. Oh, so this is the one that I also did. So that was the glow one. So that one I'll have to be careful of because of the citrus oil. So I'll have to remember that one. Um, but that one, that's great that they made it a separate one. So that I know in the future that that one's got the citrus oils in it. Um, and I believe that one is a green one and the other one's blue. Now this one's tone up. So it's got... Lavender and frankincense, you can see the theme here. Lavender and frankincense, really great for skin, for complexion, for making sure that the skin does its part in realigning itself and keeping itself elastic. That's where you get your youth from. It's the elasticity of your face um, and regenerating all the cells um, that die off naturally as a normal daily uh, thing. Um, and you can google frankincense and lavender frankincense was as everybody knows the bible oil with jesus so it's one of the highest frequency oils it's the highest it's frankincense is what we call the king of all oils lavender is queen of all oils so they pair very nicely together google it you'll find out awesome information um and then jo more jojoba oba oil and then witch hazel now <coughs> Witch hazel is really good. Um, this says rose witch, witch oil, which I'm assuming is the Levin Rose brand, um, but I'm not sure about that. Um, so basically with witch hazel, it's basically a, a liquid that's like in between a water and an oil, but it, that's why they use it because it's really good to combine water and oil. It, you know how like water and oil don't mix? They always said that. But when you put witch hazel with it, something about that changes the chemistry between the two so they don't stay separate and they combine and they um, are more fluid and they blend a lot better. So then you get all of it instead of having to shake it up every morning. Um, but at the same time, make sure if you're doing witch hazel not to ingest it. Witch hazel is actually poison if you ingest it. So make sure it's a topical thing, not ingesting. You don't want to put it in a mouth spray or any of that because um, that would be a no-no. So just word to the wise. These are all little things that I've been learning while going to actually Young Living events and things like that. Um, so it is also really, really good to get out there and go to events uh, or even classes online about little things. Um, but it's, I got my kid in 2015, so I've been learning since 2015, so it's always, always awesome. All right, and then the last one was the Refresh and Revitalize Spritzer. So you have your citrus fresh, which again is the um, the citrus oils, uh, which you want to make sure you're not in the sun with. Um, and then there's um, yeah, green tea extract. Now that is really good for you know oxidizing your skin. 
awesome. It's always got antioxidants in it and it's really good for all that stuff. Green tea. I drink green tea a lot. Now I also heard a different thing about some of the green teas got um, fluoride in it and it's sprayed with fluoride to make it yield more. <coughs> Especially Lipton um, because it's a big company and they want to cut corners. So I think I will be changing my tea possibly over to um, Ula tea, which Ula tea also has um, CBD oil in them. So I'd like to try some of that. Um, and I can order it from them. And they're awesome. Look up Ula. I've mentioned them before. They're awesome. They um, have the seven... Um, where's my book? The seven areas of balance you need to do. So this is Ula. It's by Dave, um, Braun, and Troy... Uh, Emil. They're two awesome guys. So there they are right there. One's the Ula Seeker and one's the Ula Guru. Um, but then basically they tell you um, what the seven areas of life are. Um, let's see if I can find it in here. Alright, yeah. Um, so it's fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun. So basically... If you want to feel ULA or ah at peace, you want to make sure that those areas are all equally balanced out between all of them. So, and then that's an always um, a task that you kind of have to work at throughout life because life will always throw you something. So you're going to be maybe at Thanksgiving, like for the holidays, you're going to be more in the um, holiday season and you're going to have more. Uh, family members over so you're not going to eat as well and you're not going to focus on on your fitness because you're you know lounging around watching the thanksgiving day parade eating a bunch of um unhealthy foods or even thanksgiving same or not thanksgiving um halloween candy for that matter um and then so what you have to work on next because your health is going to go way low but your family's going to go high because you're going to be around your family so then you balance it out later on. So your family will go down when you go back to your normal routine, and then you got to go back to having health. Then you go and you figure out which... There's a circle and a pie graph that they do, and they, they teach you. It's all in the book. It's awesome. Go get the book. I did a, uh, I went to a class on it. It was awesome. I learned a lot. Um, it was all founded by Amanda, who's been doing this. She's a hardcore upline girl of mine. She's really awesome. Um, she's very knowledgeable. She's actually a platinum in our company right now. Um, so she actually was able to retire from her job um, to supplement uh, using the Young Living income that she makes from her business. Um, and then she retired her husband from the railroad with the income that came in from Young Living. So, um, But if you want to know more about that, I am me. I can give you the income disclosure um, printout and things. And then I'll explain it a little bit more. But I have a group. It's uh, called Sacred Oilers, um, educating about essential oils and young living essential oils, um, which you can find me on there and do that. So um, if you're interested in that, you can do that. And then there's Manuka Oil, again, another one, common, and then um, the Witch Hazel. So um, those are those ones. So I didn't get all the education behind what all this was and stuff. Unfortunately, um, I could probably ask her for class notes if she really wanted to, if she was willing to give them to me. Um, but I figured, hey, I'll go to another event. She'll have another one. She always does. She always will. I mean, education is the key, and that's why we do these. Um, we educate ourselves because she she put it in, in um, I think it goes, green tea, alcohol-free, herbal supplement, new. <laughs> it must have been a leftover for a bubble t bubble thing that they did. So, here's the one. This is the umble unblemished roll-on. Now, see how it's darker so it doesn't deal? Let's see what this smells like. I haven't even smelled these. Not bad. I don't even know. Hmm. Interesting. I like it very woodsy like like after you walk through a damp forest when it's just start the sun's just starting to come out interesting hmm. so this is what you would like go around your face in the morning i'm assuming um 
for your morning routine or at, right before bed when you go to sleep so that while you're sleeping it um, replenishes your skin. All right, so that's the unblemished one. Um, and then this one is the tincture one, which is the glow and it's green. Yay. Now this one's got the hemp. No, that one had the hemp oil in it. That's why, that's why it smells down to earth because it had the hemp oil in it. And Manuka. Wow. Ooh. I like the smell of this one. It's very, well, I'll put, I just put it on the top of the other one. Okay, hold on. That's very flowery. Now that's a complete different smell than the other one. Ooh, that's like, it's very similar to like a jasmine. All right, now what does that one have? That one had Yang Lang, that's why. Yang Lang and Citrus Fresh. Now I've never done that combo in the diffuser, but now I'm like, okay, now I have to do that combo in the diffuser. Cool. I'm excited. I'm really happy to use these now. But there you have it. Um, two really awesome products that were made for me from a class that I went to because my upline is awesome. Thank you, Amanda, if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. And um, I forgot your name. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, the girl that um, did the class. Um, I need freaking, um, see, I even forgot the name of the oil that I need for my memory. Um, not common sense, because we all need that one. Um, focus. I need focus oil. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put this in with these, so that works as well. So yeah, so there you go. That's my cool little thing. I know this is going on like 26, 27 minutes. I'm so sorry it was so long, but there's a lot of information to go through with that um, and a lot of other side things and education to make it so that you do things safely because I don't want to do it when you're just telling you and you don't get the full information because that would not, that would be not good on my part. I wouldn't be a good teacher and I, you know, educator if I, if I did that, if I left that out. All right, I will talk to you guys later, um, and I will do an update. I still have to do an unboxing of my uh, quick order that I ordered this year, or this month, <laughs> this year, this month. So I will do that one, too, when I get another moment. Um, like I said, with my grandparents coming home and everything, everything's all thrown asunder because now we got to make other changes. But in hindsight, I'm learning that it actually might be a lot better for me um, because it might actually help me to break away from the unhappy, unhealthy habits that I had before that were keeping me stuck in a rut, so to speak. Um, so yeah, this is all good. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Uh, happy Sunday. Love, light, and blessings, everybody. Namaste. See ya.